This is the Mona Lisa every single day. That thing is getting racial, is getting abuse worse than Skylar White got for Breaking Bad. She's getting far more abuse than anyone has ever seen. Now, what am I talking about, you ask? Well, the Mona Lisa, the prized possession, that is just a painting that looks at you where you look, apparently. Exactly. It doesn't sound that interesting to me. But it's a big deal. When I went to Paris, I even went and saw it with my family. There was a huge crowd. I looked over, went, that's cool, and moved on. When I went, there wasn't a glass around it I don't think now that might be a complete lie however now there's glass around it because there are people like these you know environmentalist inverted commas throwing paint throwing you know substances basically giving it abuse this poor painting has got more abuse than I get after talking to me dad for one minute honestly my dad will absolutely beat the shit out of me verbally metaphorically literally physically emotionally far less than this poor painting gets but let's check the clip So now we've got mother and daughter. I mean, this is incredible. Unfortunately, my French is a little rusty. I was fluent when I was born, but not anymore. They're probably saying, we are idiots. We don't understand this. So we're just going to throw shit at a painting and pretend it means reposte almentar. You would feel like such an idiot. I, I don't, I, you know, okay, the world is going pretty poorly and there is a lot of problems and, uh, yeah, we're not doing a great job. But throwing stuff at the Mona Lisa, paint and other things does not save anyone or help anything. Me, personally, what I would do, I would find the nuclear codes and just blow up the whole world. Just get rid of the whole thing. I guarantee one person will live, will start off better and will carry on going. I think that is the absolute solution to global warming. That will make things a lot toastier. Poor kids crying, he's come on holiday, he's come to see the Mona Lisa, or sorry, the moaning Lisa when I'm there. Boom! <laughs> no, but seriously, and now he's crying. You have ruined this man's holiday, you scumbag French idiots. Go have another baguette, you fucking freak. You want to high five? They're asking for high fives. You ain't getting a high five. Mm, this lady with the thing, what's she doing? Must be such a sad, irrelevant loser to do this. I, I just have no sympathy for them. I hope they are put in jail for 10 years. You should be put in jail for 10 years. This doesn't help anyone. This just ruins other people's viewing. Imagine if you went on holiday, you spent a lot of money to go see that, because it's not cheap to get in that place. Not cheap at all. And even when you're there, for the chances of you getting a good view of the Moaning Lisa are so minimal, right? And then by the time you've got to the front, you know, you've done your big loop, you've got your photo, you've got your selfie smiling. Cheese! Got dad in the background picking his nose. These two pricks with bright coloured hair, mummy and mummy and daughter, probably rich, Tory, right-winged, Nazi-esque, Hitler's cousins, ruining it for you. It's so, you know what I mean? It's a shame that this is where we've come to a society where we, we, we think this is going to solve stuff. This just makes you look like a twat. This turns people against you. This makes people like me actually want to turn violent and headbutt you. This is the awkward stage, isn't it, where they're like, fuck, we thought we'd be arrested by now. What's going on? We're still here. Yes, we, we throw stuff on some glass. Yeah, fight the patriarchy. Fight back. Ah, in America, they, you know, they use assault rifles. They go to war for this sort of stuff. They shoot people for their constitutional rights. Here in Paris, they throw paint at glass. All you're doing is making some poor janitor. The poor cleaner's going to be there all day with his scrubber. It's like, this fucking stuff's non-removal paint. The twats, they had no thought for me. Imagine if they didn't know the glass was there and they got there like, shit. We can't actually destroy this billion dollar paint. Painting, what should we do? Oh no. I should we just do it anyway. So they're gonna go to jail, fingers crossed, for a very long time because they threw paint at a piece of glass. Let that swivel in your mind a little. <laughs> Love it when people are able to swap languages like that though. Like keep moving. 
Do they think this will stop global warming? Well said, Danny. Danny won't miss. You did not miss, my friend. See, that looks like a Jackson Pollock number five. It looks absolutely like someone's eating their fucking, what they call their cheese sauce, their spaghetti with cheese sauce and flung it at the Mona Lisa. And they go, ha, 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 take that, society. Take that, Emmanuel Macron. Take that, uh, Donald J. Trump. Uh, take that, uh, Joe Biden. I'm sure they are shivering, quivering in their seats, absolutely mortified that the poor janitor is going to have to work overtime to clean this shit up. In conclusion, people are idiots. If this is what you're into, lobbing things at ladies, because that's all she is, a moaning Lisa. She's a lady. She's a woman who stares at you. If this sort of stuff really turns your testicles and gets you excited, then I am sorry, but I have one thing for you, and it's called an AK-47, so... All jokes aside though, I understand, let's fight the fight, the world is being destroyed and it's mainly by people and money, I get that, but throwing paint at glass, that's on the Mona Lisa, does not do anything, they, this is delusion, I, you know, like to think this woman, the younger woman's maybe been absolutely uh, man manipulated emotionally, like this woman forgot to take off her coat, she's really not in it, maybe it's the young girl, it's like, come on mother, let's, let's have a birthday bash, shall we, it's a, uh, you know, you're telling nearly 60, wouldn't you like to go out doing something, you know, I wonder what it says, riposte malimental, uh, this is fucking mental, probably, is what it says, you know. But yeah, all due respect to these inbred arsehole idiots, let's put them down. And by put them down, I mean put them, you know, down under. Go not to Australia, go down under prison, like, get there. And look, I love how they have these things like they're expecting it. How do they get this painting? How? How do they get the painting? These, you know, the security guards there are like fucking Nazis. You know, the height of their prime. They are not letting anything through that is not blonde, blonde haired and blue eyed. It's not getting past the door. So how have these two women with blonde hair and blue eyes got painting? I know that didn't make any sense. But you have to admit, like, look at that. Oh, it's in a bag. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We are in trouble. Oh dear, we are in trouble. Yeah, all jokes aside though, someone find me their names. If you find me where they live and you egg their house, I'll give you three grand right here, right now. Fight, go, go. Yeah, fuck this. I hate people, and more importantly, I hate climate protesters. You know, glass protecting Mona Lisa, you think that's going to have any in the Louvre? Hang it in the Louvre.